And the latest paranormal West Virginia story is about a haunted island and a wealthy soci socialities who lived there over the years. Shayla Klein joins us now from the 12 Newsroom and has more on this spooky tale. Shayla. Blennerhazzett Island was purchased by Harmon and Margaret, Margaret Blennerhazzett during the Revolutionary War period, and today the island is a state park, where some visitors say the family never quite settled into the afterlife. Margaret Blennerhazzett is credited for being West Virginia's first poet. It's no surprise then that Margaret's ghost has been spotted all across the island with a book in hand. In one well-known instance, a group of campers illegally set up a tent and a campfire on the island. In the middle of the night, the group heard rustling, and when they went to investigate, they found Margaret's ghost reading some of the books the campers brought with them. I think that's very telling of the type of person she would have, I, the type of person I like to think of her as, is, you know, a very intellectual, strong-willed woman who is, you know, living her best life. <laughs> You know, why not? Hey, living her best afterlife. Another frequent sighting takes place inside the mansion. According to tour guide staff, children are known to see the ghost of a little girl in what is known as the Walnut Room. Some speculate that the little girl could be baby Margaret, who was born on the island but did not survive infancy. However, staff say that the spirits on the island are more likely to be Native American spirits. Native Americans have lived on this island for 13,000 years, and there was a village right here. Could it be a spirit? of a Native American person or is it a European? I don't know if I believe in ghost stories or not, but, but there's been enough instances and enough descriptions that match the same story. It does make you think about it. Although the island is closed for the season, the Blunner has it Museum of Regional History is open year round and has many artifacts from the island. The island opens up again in May of next year. The Blenner Hazzett family has a captivating history of scandal and treason that you can read all about on our Paranormal West Virginia tab on our website. Live from the newsroom, I'm Shayla Klein for 12 News.